It's uh, six minutes to eight o'clock, Thursday, April the 25th. And the George Daniels, who uh, passed away about 18 months ago now, perhaps the, the finest watchmaker the world has ever seen. Now a documentary about this incredible craftsman who for many years, of course, made his home in the north of the island, has been made with the, the same passion, if you like, and meticulous attention to detail for which uh, he was famous. The Watchmaker's Apprentice from Dan Productions due to tour that the festival circuit later this year before then going on general release in 2014 and it examines the the master horologist's work life particularly his uh, special relationship with Roger Smith a man who started out as his apprentice and went on to become not only a close friend but a colleague and master watchmaker in his own right editor Christy Dehaven and filmmaker Dave Armstrong from Dam have been explaining more to Howard about three years ago we were looking to put together a series of profiles um we come across an awful lot of interesting people on the isle of man in our various lines of work and uh we just wanted to try and do a, a series highlighting some of those interesting people and one of the people i knew we wanted to cover was a chap by the name of roger smith who's a, a watchmaker who lives in the north of the island um so uh, our colleague zoe guilford who can't be here today unfortunately um organized to, to go meet with roger and he was interviewed and through the course of the interview uh, Zoe realised that he kept mentioning this gentleman George Daniels and how influential he was and, and Dave and I had heard little bits about George as well in the past I decided to, to see if the, if the chaff himself was still around and thankfully he was and we were able to organise an interview with him as well um, in the meantime the profile series didn't actually happen uh, it sort of fell by the wayside, but in interviewing these two gentlemen, we realised that there was an incredible story, not because simply because of their talent and their craft in what they do, which is astonishing and is world class, but the relationship between the two of them was just mesmerising. And so we thought we have to do a documentary about these two people, and so that's what we did. And so, Dave, how did you come into this? You, you, you were persuaded this is going to be a great subject, something that's going to be very different, but quite a long way from maybe doing a profile through to making a, a, a sort of feature-length documentary film. Well, I, th- I, think, um, I think the way that they describe their watches and some of the, the, the work that they do is they mention layers. And I think it's what, what we found with, with these two, two guys, that they have so many layers to their characters and so many layers to their story about how they met, how Roger came over to the Isle of Man a couple of times and, and you know, to, to meet this legend, George Daniels, who was considered to be the greatest living watchmaker in the world. Um, and I think discovering all of that, you realise there's so much of a story to tell that, I mean, part of the problem is knowing when to stop with this sort of story because it, it's, I mean, we've been working on this now for what, Three years, nearly. three years nearly, um, and only recently f- finished the the final sort of shots. Um, interviewed George's uh, biographer at the end of last year, and we never thought we'd get into that much detail in, in in this project. But it is just so fascinating. This is coming from someone who doesn't really have, own a wristwatch, and I've come to sort of not love this subject, but be fascinated by it. And in its detail, and 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 the passion that goes into this sort of solitary profession, that the, where people can lock themselves up and and lock themselves into intricately honing this tiny little piece and filing away this one little piece for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to perfect a cog or a little little dial, and it's it's just amazing. And that's that being part of the challenge uh, as a filmmaker and a cinematographer to actually bring this passion across on the screen? Well, we've, we've been very fortunate. Not only did we, you know, did we have the honour of meeting George Daniels and interviewing him, um, but it, it's, it's almost a cinematographer's dream, really, that the, the, the watches themselves are beautiful. They're so beautifully crafted. It, access, we had access to, to George's workshop when it was still as it was uh, when George left it. And it was it was like an Aladdin's cave. It, it was it was it was amazing. I spent hours in there. I could have spent days filming every little thing from a little pack of tobacco from there, there was oil cans and cogs of every description and dials with no dials on before they became dials, just plates of metal. And it was it's it's just it's just fascinating. And, and everybody that we've met and interviewed around around this um, film. Have just been such a pleasure to work with, 
and and a, de- a delight to add to the project. And and hopefully now we've we've managed to draw a line under everything we've got. We're putting together the sort of final touches now, and I think it's going to be it's a fascinating program. Chrissy De Haven and Dave Armstrong. You can find out more about the film actually by logging on to the Watchmakers Apprentice dot com.